morning from the crew. <clears throat> At 6.20 in the morning, we are ready to play, apparently. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Tuxie is definitely still sleeping. Bailey has been in a routine of wanting to eat her breakfast at 6.30 every morning. So ever since I have been back to feeling normal after having the flu and bronchitis, we have been on a strict 6.20 a.m. wake-up call. Uh, good morning and welcome to today's video. I know it's been a while since I vlogged. We had Vlogmas and... Um, then after that, on January 2nd, after Vlogmas was over and Christmas and everything, we went to Florida and I got so sick in Florida. I got the flu and I got bronchitis. I was out for eight days. So today is like the first day I'm feeling kind of back to normal. I worked out yesterday and I literally feel like my body got hit by a train, like not ready. But I'm feeling better. It's just a lot of like congestion, you know, and like drainage, which is gross. But, um... I just figured I would just get back into it by vlogging because it's been a little bit since I've done a vloggy vlog. So, good morning. Welcome to the video. Good morning. Oh, it's such a nice girl. Thank you very much. Happy Manders Monday. one of those days outside where it is so dark and gloomy at only eight o'clock in the morning and the walks that we're going to have happened did not because the ground is literally um, an ice skating rink out there. I ended up being the perfect vlogging day anyways. So I just figured I would take you guys through my day, my training. I feel like this is the day in the life vlogs are just the most natural and easy to film for me just because that's what I'm doing. Welcome to today's video, starting off with my normal egg white veggie scramble and some waffles. I had only Vans waffles left in my freezer and they are still gross. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I can't promise it's gonna be very exciting, but it will definitely be a little day in the life. This is the most terrifying thing of all Iowa right here. Okay, look at this. You're literally ice skating I could literally ice skate down my driveway. <coughs> this is horrible. I didn't know I'd be ice skating, okay? This is so hard to walk in, to drive in. <laughs> I need those spikes that you put on the bottom of your boots. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so as I have been coming back from said sickness, um, and I think I was talking in, in my Vlogmas video actually about having a slight back issue. Like my SI joint was really bothering me. So the two kind of went hand in hand and then I ended up just having to take all that time off, like I said. So this week, since it's like my first real week back, um, I've been taking it super easy. Today is not a CrossFit style workout. Today is only going to be um, shoulders with a little bit of triceps. And I've just kind of been implementing a little bit more of that like bodybuilding accessory style training in with my Olympic weightlifting and CrossFit. I've talked about this a million times before, just kind of like integrating the three of them together. I just feel like it works best for me because I get so bored doing just bodybuilding, but I get so bored doing just Olympic weightlifting. So I kind of like to mix them all together. So I'll take you guys through this quick little workout. I'm gonna do this before I coach the class and, and then we'll just get on with the rest of our day. I'm marvel in your eyes, swimming in your sky I've never been this high or this high You feel like good tonight, sparks fly like dynamite Reflecting in your light, beaming bright
wasn't going to actually do the class workout, but then I had an odd number of people in my class, so I ended up partnering with one of the girls, a little cardio, been literally hitting my 10,000 steps by noon every single day since being sick. It just feels so good to be back in routine. At home, I saw that my driven order was delivered, so I'm gonna make a yummy shake, show you guys what I prepped for lunch so far this week, <coughs> and hopefully get a little bit more rest and recovery. <laughs> Wow, look at these girls. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Mem? Hi. Yeah. You going potties? Oh, what good girls. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mems. My driven nutrition package arrived. All right, they got my absolute favorite protein. This is the ISO Drive by Driven It's Vanilla Milkshake. Got another BCAA in the Fresh Lemonade. This is the best BCAAs of all time. I got my R&R supplement that I take at night. And one more for the doggies. I wanted to try these little CBD treats for the dogs. Um, so I'll try them, especially like when I have to leave Eliza for longer periods of time downstairs. take a shower and eat some lunch do some quiet check-ins so good so as I was doing my uh, clients and I took my shower and put my PJs back on my new rug came I got this from this place called boutique rugs it was a super good deal and I want to open it and see how it looks Super cute. The other side needs to fold out a little bit, but I just feel like it brings a little bit more life into the room because the other one was just so plain. Plus, because our walls are cream, you know? So I like it. Tuxie, what do you think, Bubba? Oh, yeah, it's not bad. It's okay. <laughs> They're such good girls. Oh, he's such good girls. Oh, look at that beautiful snoot. You're such a good girl. And you're such a good girl. So pretty, wow. Justin literally got this sandwich from McAllister's today. And look at this thing, okay? Are you joking me? Do you know that that whole sandwich has like 1,200 calories in one sandwich? But what it did want make me want, though, <laughs> was a sandwich. Before I get ready for this meeting here in about an hour, I am going to, I have some uh, leftover chicken thighs that I cooked in my little, uh, what's it called, ninja foodie thing, which by the way, I still love so much. And I've got like these little holy guacamole mini things. I like to use that for a little sauce when I'm making sandwiches. I mean, it's sure not gonna be a 1200 calorie sandwich, I can tell you that much, but. So this is my little lunch. Sometimes I want like a ginormous lunch after I work out, but because I had that big shake, I'm not super duper hungry. So this will kind of hold me over till dinner. And I've got one of those dairy-free cheese slices on there and then 100 grams of strawberries. And then I'm going to go get changed and do my makeup so I don't look like a complete sloth for this meeting. Okay, so <laughs> my 97,000 layers. I have about 30 minutes before I have to actually leave. And so this is like the perfect amount of time to take all three dogs for a pack walk. Um, usually I take the girls twice a day, once in the morning and then <clears throat> once in the afternoon and then all three of them in the evening because Tuxie likes to sleep in late. It was so icy this morning that we did not get to go. So oh, this is how we layer up out here in, in Iowa. I got my little walking pouch. This is basically just like for safety. I've got like a little pet corrector thing in here, some treats. And then doggy bags, of course. Bailey, I leave on the hands-free leash so that I can hold Tux in one leash and Eliza in the other. They don't get as tangled because then Bailey's like on her own thing, you know? Got Tuxies. And then, <laughs> got a good girl, Eliza. We're off for a pack walk before this meeting. I will catch up with you guys 
in a short while. Oh, it's still so disgustingly dreary outside. Ugh. All right, I will be back. <laughs> so dark in here. I love that the sun sets at four o'clock. Love that for me. So anyways, just got back. It is about 5.30, so I'm going to start whipping up some dinner. I went to Fresh Time the other day. <clears throat> they have this new brand of beef. It's called Verde, and it's like organic, 100% grass-fed, no antibiotics. I don't know, <clears throat> I've talked about this before in previous full day of eating videos, I just feel like these meats and you know, I could just be, could be in my head, but I feel like I just digest these better quality meats so much better than regular like, you know, Laura's lean beef or whatever that stuff is from Hy-Vee. So anyways, I'm gonna cook this up on the stove here and if we're talking macros today, I forgot to log my lunch. Whoops, hang on. I am like getting back into the swing of things of tracking. I don't have a specific like set amount that I'm trying to hit right now. I'm just kind of focusing on protein and like making sure I'm eating enough. So I'm kind of trying to just like start building my appetite back up. So as of right now, I have 33 grams of protein left, 28 fat and 122 grams of carbs. Oh, so like severely under where I should be right now, but that's okay. That's why we're getting back in the swing of things and tracking. So I'm gonna whip this up. Um, I may do some pasta or some rice and do some spinach in there as well. So well, let's get it cooking. super high protein, high in fiber, and it's a super easy way to sneak in your greens. If you're somebody that doesn't really like eating vegetables, I always throw like spinach or broccoli, I didn't have any broccoli, but into the meat and it just kind of wilts down and you can't even really taste it. So I'm going to eat this lovely dinner. I'm still way under on carbs and fat, so I might see what's in our freezer and have some snacks later. I mean, you guys gotta eat their dinner. I will be back for the evening nightcap of snacks. And there we have it. Face is nice and shiny. Just finished my uh, nighttime skincare routine. We're gonna eat this bowl of cereal, wait for Austin to get home from work, and then I will be done for the night. But right back where we started in the same pajamas <laughs> as earlier. Still under on my carbs and fats by quite a bit, but I'm still working my way back up. I will get there, don't you worry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little full day of eating video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a Monday with Manders, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Yeah.